what are we praying about? Do we, I love what you said, that you got a desire to do more. And so what is that desire to do more for the kingdom of God? Now, you know, God is, is definitely going to uh, give us that desire. That's the best desire. To have. So God bless you for that. Well, everyone, this is what we've been waiting for to get into the teachings here. But, you know, if you've been faithful followers, we always like to start with this. If you know anything, many of us, we are in relationships, you know, look at here. I, I got a relationship with uh, Coca-Cola and Lay's potato chips, okay? I got a relationship with uh, burritos. I got a relationship with coffee cake. You know what I'm saying? I got a relationship with the Western movies. Hey, you know, you can have any kind of relationship. You know what I'm saying? So this this series is, is different kind of relationships, not your average human uh, so to speak, like Mary and Joseph or Abraham and Sarah, not those couples. These are different couples. So today we're going to be looking at Jesus and the truth. So sister, uh, Lasagna, uh oh, can you hear me now? You got, can you see me now? Uh, everyone, okay. sometimes, okay, sometimes we have a little technical difficulty. So we apologize for that. Yeah. So sister Lasagna, I'm sure you know something about this couple we're going to be looking at here today. So let's start with Jesus. What, what do you know about Jesus? Who is this Jesus? Sister Amanda. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. The name Jesus is derived from the Hebrew, Hebrew name of Yeshua. Hebrew meaning to deliver, to rescue. That's good. That's all I have. Okay. So now what about the other part of this couple we're looking at? What about truth? How would you describe truth? God is truth. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. In John's 8, 30, 8 3. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all I have. Okay. So what you just shared with us about Jesus and the truth, would you say that this is a usual or unusual couple? This is a usual couple. They go together. They should not be, they're, they're, they can't be set free because Jesus is the truth mm -hmm. from my research. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I like that because when we look at the truth, when, when I think about truth, I think about facts. I think about reality. I think about something that is unblamed. Uh, it, it has no blame to it. It's just the facts. It's reality. Some people have what they call alternative facts. Well, if you're going to call it alternative, it ain't factual. It's a lie if you got to make it alternative. Right. You, you see, truth is something that's solid. It don't need to move. Truth <laughs> is truth. See, truth stays put. A lie jumps all over the place. Oh, this is good right here. A lie like jumps that. all over the place. It can't stay in one place because it got to move because it got to cover the lie from that spot to that spot. So it's all over the place. But the truth, it don't have to move. It stays put because it's firm. It's solid. It has a reputation of being factual. So when I look at Jesus, that that makes sense because Jesus is the Savior. Jesus' name means salvation. It means deliverance. Well, what is he delivering us from? Lies. He's delivering you from the lies and the deception of the enemy. That's your deliverance. See, that's why we got delivered from, uh, from the sin of Adam and Eve. Why? Because they had been deceived. They had been lied to. So now you need a savior. You need a deliverer that's going to deliver you out of that lie and it's going to bring you to the truth. That's what deliverance is all about. Bringing you from a lie to the truth. And who does that? Jesus himself. Satan will never bring you to the truth. That's not his M.O. Satan will yeah. always keep you in the lie. Say, He's the father of all lies. Exactly. So for Jesus in the truth, this is a usual couple. I like what you said because the Bible says Jesus said out of his own mouth. Jesus said what? I am the 
Way, the truth, and the, the truth and the light. Now, right there, Satan can't tell you that. Satan will never, ever tell you that he's the way, the truth, and the light. Uh, light. Never. Can't do it. Never. Can't do it. Won't do it. It's not in it. So right. this is going to be a great lesson that we're going to be looking at this couple, Jesus and the truth. Man, we got great scriptures for that. So let's take a look. Oh, well, before we go to the scriptures, as we always do, everyone with Sister Lasagna, two things we're going to be looking for. First thing is the key words is Jesus and truth, the key words. And then after that, we're going to be looking for, okay, well, who is the scripture telling us about this couple? What are they saying about this couple? Is it usual or is it? unusual. Let's take a look. Sister Lasagna at our very first scripture. Let's go over to John. John chapter one. Okay. Okay. And I want you to read verse 17, please. Certainly. Mm -hmm. And it reads, for the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Mm. And about this book, I put a collection of laws and commandments were given to Moses by God in the Old Testament. Jesus taught truth. Jesus came to f full of grace and truth. That's what I have. All right. So here we are in the book of well, John. In the book of John. And John here uh, the disciple, the student of Jesus, he's now giving us insight about his own teacher, his own, the, his own uh, master. Look what he says uh, in there. He says, for the law was given through Moses. So see, remember Moses, that the law that you talked about, remember back then in the Old Testament, the law was in order to deal with your sins, you have to sacrifice animals. Uh, uh, well, see, that was just temporary. That wasn't going to get it. That's what you call alternative. You know, that was just temporary because that did that. Uh, the blood of the animals wasn't going to bring you uh, into eternal life. So then look what John says. He says, but there's that word, but in the text, he said, but grace and truth came through who? Jesus. Jesus. Christ. So there it is right there. Jesus will always be associated with truth. You, he, a, a, a lie did not come through Jesus, uh, but the truth did and grace did because why? They are a usual couple. See? And if the law had worked in Moses' day, then we would have never needed Jesus and grace and truth. We, yeah. uh, and we still would have been operating on the law, but that was alternative. That yeah. wasn't real. That wasn't, that wasn't reality. Alternative. Yeah. So, yeah. So it was Jesus that got up on the cross, not Moses. It yeah. was Jesus that got in the tomb, not Moses. It was Jesus that rose from the grave on the third day, not Moses. That's the truth. That's the fact. That's reality. So, Truth and Jesus. Because, see, if I can't believe Jesus, the one that died on the cross for me and said that, hey, uh, you believe in me, though you may die, but you're going to have eternal life. Well, if I can't believe you as being the son of God, then I need to close this Bible up and just go out and be like everybody else. Wow. If, if, if I can't believe Jesus. Yes. Yeah. See? We so when it, yeah. So when we hear the name Jesus right away, you ought to know oh, that's a truthful man. Oh, he going to tell you the truth. But there's some people named you here. I ain't going to call them out. But some people named you here, you know they a liar. They they just got a reputation of lying. Just say that yeah. name. You can say the first name, the last name, or you can call them by their full name. And you know that person represents themselves as a liar. Ain't yes. got no truth in them. Ain't got no truth in them. See? Yes. Relationship. It's yes. important who you are in who you are in a relationship with. with. Amen. You know, just like you're in relationship with food, you're in relationship with exercise, you're in relationship with your, you know, with your attitude, with your emotions, you're in relationship with these Amen. things. Yes. 
Are you going to be truthful to yourself or are you going to continue to deceive yourself? Truthful. There you go. That's it. If you if you're hollering Jesus, that's all you know. Amen. Amen. And if and if you're hollering Jesus and you are a hypocrite, we're going to find that out, too. Amen. Are you seeing this? Yes, I am. All right. Let's take a look at the second scripture. Let's go to Ephesians chapter four. Ephesians four. And Sister Lasagna, can you read verse 20 and 21? I can. Okay. And it reads, but you have not so learned Christ. If indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. Mm. What I wrote about the book of Ephesians was ultimate truth is found only in Jesus, not the gods and goddesses of human culture. We should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the futility of their mind. Walk with Jesus. Ooh. And as it relates to this verse, I put the similarities between the epistle and the gospel of John provide conclusive evidence that the author of First John was the apostle Oh, we're not on John. I'm sorry. I'll wait to the next one. Uh, okay. I'll stop there at Ephesians. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, you're good. It gets that good, huh? It gets that yes. good. So you, 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 you know something about this couple. Very good. I like that. So here, here we have, we're now we're in the book of Ephesians. And now we got Paul. Paul is now giving us a picture of this couple. Now, you know, if anybody know about Jesus and truth, Paul would be a good candidate to talk to. Sit down and yeah. talk to Paul. Read the letters. Read Paul's uh, letters to the Galatians, Ephesians, Corinthians, and Romans, Philippians, Ooh. and Thessalonians. Read all of them. He's telling you about Jesus and the what? Truth. Because he knows he got a relationship. Yes. He, he's, he's, been in, he's been with them for a while, for a long time, studying the word of God, Paul did. Yeah. So Paul is saying to these Ephesians, to these new believers that's coming into the knowledge of Jesus Christ, he says in verse 20, he says, but you have not so learned Christ. If indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. See, at that time when Paul is going to these new uh, 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 believers there, they didn't hear. They didn't know about Jesus. All they knew about was those gods and goddesses that you talked about. See, they mm -hmm. they 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 knew them. That was that was their truth. Those pagan yeah. gods, those mythological gods, they grew up with that. So what you grew up, what you grow up with, that's what you believe in. And you think yeah. it's true. And it yeah. isn't. So Paul is saying, I'm coming to teach you about Jesus. You need to learn about him. Why do I need to teach you about Jesus? Because the truth is in him. Right. The truth is not in Zeus. It's not in your horoscopes. It's not in your uh, psychic readings. It's not in your and your mythological gods that uh, the Romans and the Greeks and now America has taken a part of. It's not in them. Yeah. It's in Jesus. But see, the, uh, uh, the devil don't want you to be in your Bible. He don't want you to be in there because that's where the truth is. Yeah. That's why during the slavery days, how uh, the Catholic Church... They didn't want the slaves to have no Bibles because they, if they got the Bible, if they learn how to read, they was going to learn the truth. That's they right. was going to learn the truth. No, no, no. Don't give them that Bible. No. And what happened when we got the Bible? Man, we started having preachers, black preachers start coming out telling the truth. Yes. Are you seeing this? I am. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when, see, you cannot know the truth until you meet Jesus. Because he is the epitome of truth. He yeah. is the core yeah. of truth. Take Jesus out of the picture, you ain't got no truth. You don't have nothing. Uh -uh. <laughs> Why do you think when you go to court and they tell you, okay, put your hands on the Bible, Bible. And, and, and what it, I swear to tell the truth and nothing but, nothing the, but the truth. So help me. 
God. There you go. Because if you say God, you're saying Jesus. And if you say Jesus, you're saying God. And you say God right. and Jesus, you show sure saying the right. Holy Ghost. Yes. Are you seeing this? I am. It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> Jesus Thank in the church. Look at here, baby. You know, last week we had uh, Jesus in the church, and we we talked about how we was married to him. You ought to you you don't want a divorce. You don't want to get a divorce from him. You know why I don't want to get a divorce from Jesus? Because he tells the truth. Right. He ain't no liar. Uh, you know, I, he ain't gonna come home and tell me, uh, 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 Jesus, where you been? Oh, I was down at the synagogue. I was at the at, at the temple preaching. And then he was over there at a temple worshiping pagan gods. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus ain't going to do that. He's going to tell you where he was. Some yeah. men and women, they come home, and they know they've been out cheating and lying, been with somebody else, and they come right home and lie right to their husband's face right. or, wife, or wife face. Yeah, they, it's the truth. That's right. But Jesus ain't going to do that to me. He ain't going to yeah. tell me no lie. Because the moment he does, that's when we got to get a divorce. Because now exactly. everything else you said don't mean nothing no more. It don't mm -hmm. mean nothing. It's invalid. Absolutely. Are you saying this? Yes. Woo! Let's take a look at another scripture, Sister Lasagna. Let's now go over to First John. First John. I think this is where you said you had went a little further. <laughs> you said, I'm right. in John. <laughs> and I love it. First John chapter five. I really like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm there. Okay, and verse six, please. Verse six. This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit who bears witness because the spirit is truth. Mm. I really like this one. Me too. So I was reading about the book of of First John as what as he written and why he written, mm. and I put the similarities between epistle and the gospel of John provides conclusive ed evidence that. The author of 1 John was the Apostle John. The, the usage of words like truth, light, and phrase like in the light and mm -hmm. born of God in 1 John reveals significant resemblance in structure and style and vocabulary of John's gospel. It is also significant that John's Anonymity is evident in his epistle as it was in his gospel. He never uses his authority as an apostle in substantiating his message, but begins his first epistle much the same way as the gospel of John, 1 John 1 and 1 and 2. And as it relates to this verse, I put Jesus is the son of God. He came by water and blood and be, to bear witness from heaven. The witness God is greater and give me and will give me eternal life. Jesus Christ, if you have Jesus Christ, you have life. Those who don't do not. That's all I have. That's good, Sister Lasagna. You have Jesus Christ and you got what? Lie. Wow. I like that. That's good. I like this scripture, too, because like you were saying that you was giving some background of uh, John. And I like how John did this because John is saying he's given us uh, like a biography of Jesus. He says yeah. that now this is he now. John, like he ain't talking about nobody else. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. John say this is he who came by what? Water and blood, meaning that. Okay. Uh, he had to come in the physical for you to see water and blood. This is a physical body, Jesus. So he really existed. John is testifying. He really existed. He lived, right? So he said he came down here uh, by water and blood. And we know that water and blood was signified by his death on the cross. When they put the sword in it, water comes out and blood comes out. Blood is shed and everything. But what I like about this, oh, this is so good, that John says, 
Somebody knows about Jesus. Somebody got to know about, uh, they got a relationship with Jesus. And who is it? The Holy Spirit. It said right. the Spirit. It said the, the Spirit comes down and bears witness. Yeah. Why? Why is the Holy Spirit bearing uh, witness to Jesus Christ? Because the Spirit is telling the what? Truth. If the spirit is telling the truth, that means he's telling the truth about Jesus, who is the truth. See? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we ought to know something about the people we're involved in. It would That's be a, right. travi a travesty, a travesty if the Holy Spirit didn't know nothing about Jesus. I don't know right. nothing about him. I can't tell you nothing. I don't know where he came from. I don't know who his daddy is. I don't know what his purpose is. No. The Holy Spirit said, wait up, hold up. I'm a witness. I know this man can testify for him. Put the Holy Spirit on the, on the witness stand. He said, I, I swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. He came by water and blood. He is the son of God. What? Jesus and the truth. Yeah. There's a witness. And now you and I can go on the witness stand. If God called me Amen. to heavenly court, if he says, uh, 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 he said, I, I got a witness. I got a witness. And, uh, and the judge say, call your next witness. Carol Love, come to the stand. And here I go up there yes. to the heavenly court stand. And I get on the on the th on the witness stand and I raise my hand. Uh, do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, Jesus, God, and the Holy Ghost. I sure do swear. And girl, I start yes. talking. Jesus saved me. Oh, he <laughs> saved me. He died upon that cross. He rose from the dead on the third day. He gave me eternal life. He gave me a ministry. I had students for so many years that I was teaching. Shh, girl, I look, you have to look at here. They have to do a Twitter program just for minister love because I ain't gonna shut up with uh, talking. Part five. <laughs> girl, I'd be on the witness stand for 2,000 years still talking about <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you have so much to say and talk about. <laughs> I go through all of my Bible studies. I go through every Bible. And so you had to give me uh, for a long, long time because I'm going to tell you about all the Bible studies. I talked about Jesus. Are you seeing this? That's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. So there it is. If the Holy Spirit is a witness to what who Jesus is, then what about you and I? What about you and I? Can we be a witness to what the Lord has done for us? Or will you be a witness for what the devil did? For what God has done for me. There you go. That's it right there. That's it. Yes. Woo. Let's go to another scripture. Let's go to John. Now, this is the one you talked about, uh, uh, the gospel of John. Because first John was one of the epistles, but this is a gospel. John chapter 18. Okay. John 18. Sister Lasagna, can you read verse 37, please? I sure can. Okay. And 37 reads. Pilate therefore said to him, Are you the king then? Jesus answered. You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born, and I was I for this cause I have come into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Amen. Ooh. And I wrote. Okay. <laughs> Everyone who is of the truth hears Jesus Christ's voice. His kingdom is not earthly. Jesus came to serve. His father is the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth, and the Holy Spirit is the, is the spirit of truth. They all three are truth, and it says all three are one. Mm -hmm. I read a lot on this one. I, yeah. I really like this one. Yeah. 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 That's right. Because see, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, they got to be in agreement. You yeah. can't have two lying and one telling the truth. It ain't gonna yeah. work. That's a, that, that's a plot that ain't gonna work. 
Right. You, you, if you if y'all all gonna tell the truth, tell the truth. If you're all gonna lie, then y'all all lie. But if if some of you lie, some of you truth, it ain't gonna work. It, it, it's gonna fall apart. It's gonna fall That's apart. Right. Fall apart. That's, That's what we're right. saying to that. That's what we're saying to that. So this is cool. I really like this because notice who's talking to Jesus. Jesus ain't just standing in front of some ordinary person, someone yeah. of low stature. He's yeah. standing before Pilate, a yeah. high government official of the Roman military, yeah. the government of Rome. And he's yeah. asking Jesus, he says, are, are, are you the king? He asked, he said, well, are you the king? And Jesus said, well, you said it. Yeah, rightly I am. Amen. And, and then Pilate says, and then, no, and then Jesus says, for this cause, I was born. Now, see, Jesus is telling why he came. He said, let me tell you, Pilate, I was born for this cause. Mm -hmm. I came into this world that I should bear witness mm -hmm. to the what? Mm -hmm. To the what? To the mm -hmm. truth. He ain't coming to stand on no stand and say, I swear to tell a lie and nothing but the lie. So help me, devil. That ain't what you do. Are you seeing this? Ooh, that's a good one right there. I swear. <laughs> you know what that is? That's a good one. I'm going to put that out on social media. That's what the devil demons do. I swear to tell a lie and nothing but the lie. So help me, devil. <laughs> Wait a minute. And they ain't going to have the right hand up. They're going to have the left hand up. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's a good one. I, get, I like that yes. one. <laughs> so when Jesus is standing in front of Pilate, he said, Look, let me tell you something. High official, you government official, just because you got power and status that don't make what you're doing is right. He said, yeah. Let me tell you, I came, I'm a witness to the truth because I am the truth. Everyone who is of the truth Thank hears. Lord. My voice. So Jesus yeah. is saying, Carol, Lasagna, every time you read in your Bible, in, in your Bible, you read about me, I'm telling you the truth. I really am the son Amen. of God. I really can't give you eternal life. Really, I can't. <laughs> yes, he can. I yes. Yes, it's beautiful. I can give you a new spirit. I can give yeah. you. I can give you a new life. You won't. You you forget you even had a life with the devil. Yes. Woo! -hoo. That's so good. Ain't this good? Yes. This is good teaching. This is good teaching. I'm telling you, it's good teaching, yes. right? It woke me up. Uh, won't it? That to a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. And, 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 and that's why we come out of the darkness, ignorance into the light, yeah. which is truth. Yes. Let's take a look at another scripture. Let's go to Second John chapter one. OK. And Sister Lasagna, take a look at verse three. Grace, mercy and peace will be with you from God, the father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm sorry, the son of the father in truth and love. Mm -hmm. And on this one, I put John introduces this letter from the elder to elect lady and her children. John refers to the grace of God, to Jesus Christ and the concept of love and truth for those who have known and those who have known the truth. That's all I have. All right then. So you 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 said the key words there, truth. And so now John, you notice how John really got a good relationship with Jesus. I mean, you should. Look at here. He was Jesus, uh, uh, one of his three inner circle disciples. And right. if you are that close to the truth, you ought to know the truth and tell the truth. And that's what John is doing here. John said, you know, I got to write a letter to the to the elder, uh, uh, yeah. uh, the elder to the elect lady. Who is the elect lady? That's a metaphor for the church and her uh -huh. children. So those okay. believers in the body of Christ, the church. So he said, let me write. So he writes them a letter, right? And how does he address this letter? Verse three, he says, grace, mercy, 
and peace be with you from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father in what? Truth. Mm -hmm. So he's writing this letter to these new believers in what? Truth. Mm -hmm. Because now they believe in the truth. So if yeah. you receive it and believe in the truth, when you get a letter from John and Peter and Paul now, when you get a letter from them, you know they're going to tell you the truth. Yeah, yeah. they're going to write to tell you the truth. Hey, look, y'all got to stop worshiping the pagan gods. Y'all got to stop going over there and making sacrifices and, and making these golden images and stuff. And we're talking about that's happening today. That's yeah. happening today. So he's letting them know. He said, you believers, he says, he says, uh, 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 y'all got the truth. He said, I'm writing this letter. And, and notice he says, from God and from Jesus. And those two represent truth. Amen. Wow. And, and John is saying, and I'm doing it because I love you. You know, if you love someone, you want them to know the what? Truth. Now, if you don't love them, you <laughs> tell them a lie. And they'll believe it. Oh, she's so gullible. They so gullible, like we're seeing today in the political circle. Yes. They just believe this lie. And they show, and, and, and they believe in the lie, see, rather than believe in the truth. Sister Lasagna, you want to in and out. Oh, I'm I wonder sorry. what's going on with the. Okay, I got you. I can see you. Circuit up there. Okay, it's okay. We'll be okay. Let's go to one more scripture. Can you hear me? Yeah. One more. Okay, Titus. Uh, Titus chapter one. Titus, that's right. Mm -hmm. What happened to Titus back here? Okay. Titus oh, chapter. I know what Titus is doing. Okay. All right. Okay, Titus chapter 1, verse 1. Okay, Paul, a bondservant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledgement of the truth, which accords with godliness. And I had to say something about Titus. Because he was an interesting type of fellow. Mm -hmm. Titus was most likely a Gentile from Macedonia, if we read in Galatians 2 and 3, who has led to who was led to Christ by Paul. Mm -hmm. Titus was with Paul in Jerusalem, according to Galatians first chapter 2, verse 1. When some dogmatic Jewish brethren misled that Titus should be circumcised, Paul would not allow it in Galatians 2 and 3, because this would have suggested that all non-Jewish Christians were second-class citizens in the church. So Paul did not want that to happen. Mm -hmm. And that to this verse, verse one, I put Titus who traveled with Paul speaks about the godliness and truth of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He left Crete to set in order, in order the things that were lacking and appoint elders of every city. So Paul Titus had a, a great role as well. Mm-hmm. There's good. And that's all I have. Ooh, that's good, Sister Lasagna. I like that. So see how Paul now even got a new student, Titus. Yes. He yes. already had Timothy. So now he got a new student. And now this new student, Titus, now is picking up the teachings of the truth. And now he's going out with Paul spreading the gospel, spreading the truth. 
because mm-hmm. you got we have to remember during that time that was a whole lot of uh, lies going on you know in that time you know you had the pagan gods you know they were believing in you know worshiping the sun and worshiping the the stars and the moon and yeah. so you got to come in with the truth and get and, and get them lies out of there you need to bring the people the truth and let them know that yeah. there is a, a real God in heaven, the creator that made heaven and earth. That's the one y'all need to learn about. He is the one that's going to give you the truth uh, through his son, Jesus Christ, the one that died and rose. And we're telling you about him so you can have eternal life and not eternal death. Because yeah. see, lies bring eternal death. Truth brings eternal life. There's a big difference, isn't it? So yeah. there. So there it is right here in this scripture. Paul is saying, I like how Paul say, he says, I am a what? Bond servant. In other mm-hmm. words, Paul said, I'm tied to God. I'm bound with him. I can't get a loose. I don't want to get a loose because I'm, I'm bound to him in truth. It reminds me of you. <laughs> reminds me of you. Thank you. <laughs> I ain't getting loose. No, I ain't getting loose. Right. <laughs> you know, some people, when you tie them up, let me go. Let me go. Right. Uh-uh. When you get tied don't up with Jesus, no, 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 no. <laughs> Keep me tied up. Yes. <laughs> because if you let me loose, I might go wild again. I might That's go right. Crazy. That's right. Keep me tied up. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. So Paul is saying here with Titus and everyone, he said, I, I got to be a bond servant to God and Jesus because they represent truth. And, and, and not only do they represent truth, but it brings about godliness. See, yes. it brings about godliness. You got a good reputation now. You know, yes. people honor you. They respect you because you tell the truth. Yes. But mm-hmm. once you've been found out that you are a liar, like like a lot of these um scams, you know, people uh like these investment scams. How would you like to make a million dollars in six months? All you need to do is take this real estate course, you know, and just send us uh twelve hundred dollars, but you're gonna mm-hmm. make a million. Now you know you lie. See, that's not godly, that's ungodly. I have my share of scams. Uh huh. Yeah. So, Sister Lasagna, that's going to do it for this lesson here on today. Share with us what did you learn about this couple on episode number 30, where we talked about Jesus and the truth. I learned quite a bit. I learned that Jesus came here to bear witness of the truth. He was the truth. And he taught the truth. And those who recognize his voice knew, Jesus, we had to come to God. Because if you didn't come to God, you will not recognize his voice. I, I, I learned that they are all one. The Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, and the Father are all one. And I also learned that on this earth, the water and the blood and the spirit are all one. So they all have to move together. So we all would know the truth because we were, were, were so listened to, like you said, all these mystical things. We, we, what our government is telling us, what people is telling us mm-hmm. is all lies. And some of these preachers on the pulpit mm-hmm. is telling us, it's not it's not the truth, mm-hmm. but we have to read it for ourselves to stand approved by God. And I just love it and I'll just keep coming back. Ooh, Sister Lasagna, you're gonna make men's love have a part two, part three, part four, and part five. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm I'm with you all the way. I know you are. <laughs> Man, wasn't this good? Thank you so much for a great conclusion. I love how you summarize everything there. So when you get to the bottom line and you your top line and your bottom line ought to be the same. True. Yeah. And whatever yeah. is in the middle got to be truth. 
See? Yeah. Uh huh. If you are, let's say, let's say you are a uh, a manipulator. Well, can, you you need to tell the truth. Be honest with yourself. If you're gonna get help, be honest with yourself. See, that's where truth starts within yourself. Be honest yeah. with yourself, and when you're honest with yourself, then you can be honest with everybody else. Amen. It, it's like people coming out of the closet. Homosexuals coming out of the closet. Well, people may not like it, but guess what? At least they're being honest with themselves. That's at least right. they're being truthful with themselves. You may not agree with it, but at least they're being truthful the way that they know how they come in out. But you got <laughs> some Christians, they are liars, but they ain't going to come out and tell you they're a liar. Yeah. So I would I respect the homosexual more than the Christian that don't come out and tell the truth. At least the homosexual told you the truth of who he is. Yeah. And the lying Christian, the pedophile Christian won't. Hmm. Something to think about, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, there it is right there. Minister Love said it. I'm sticking to it. And you guys, if y'all watch this show, you can comment, make your comments. We would love to hear from you. All right, then, everyone. Hey, listen, that's going to do it for Sister Lasagna and I right here at Balaku Ministries, where we're Bible lovers, achieving Christ's knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. We encourage you to join us next week. Hey, listen, you can watch us on the website, mybibleregistration.com, or you can watch us over on our YouTube channel. The Sister Love Talk Show. So you got two social uh, media platforms. You can catch this great interview with Sister Lasagna and I. Well, everyone, that's going to do it. We love you. God bless. And we will see you this time next week. Take care and God bless. Goodbye. Amen. Amen.